Welcome to another episode of the Cars of Palm Springs. I'm Danny Adams, your host. How did you like our little Get Smart homage? Today we're privileged to be checking out this 1965 Sunbeam Tiger. So hop in, let's go for a ride. Uh-oh, I've got a tail. So it's a pretty straightforward Spartan interior, full complement of gauges, switches, it does have a beautiful wood dash. There's no power steering, so turning is a little bit of a workout. It has a four speed transmission with no overdrive. We're heading into Little Tuscany to do the walk around at the Dr. Franz Alexander house.
As I mentioned, this car has a connection to the Get Smart TV show. The Sunbeam Tiger was featured in the 1965 hit TV show Get Smart, a spy genre parody created by Mel Brooks and Buck Henry. It starred Don Adams. He supposedly liked driving the Tiger so much the show gave it to him. Don Adams actually had a house here in Palm Springs. Let's go find it. Don Adams Palm Springs house. It was built in 1962. He bought it in 1977. So now we're going to the Palm Springs Architecture and Design Center for the tech spec segment. arrived at the Palm Springs Art Museum Architecture and Design Center. So this is the tech spec segment where I show you around the car. The Sunbeam Tiger was produced between 1964 to 1967 by the British Roots Group. Roots Group wanted to have a V8 variant of the current four-cylinder Sunbeam Alpine Roadster. Carol Shelby had already done this with the AC Cobra and was approached to build a V8 prototype in Los Angeles. He used a Ford 260 V8 that barely fit into the snug Alpine engine bay. Actually, before we begin, our producer, Mr. Della Palm Springs, has a pop quiz for you. Where do you think the battery and the fuel pump are located in this car? A, under the hood, B, in the passenger compartment, or C, in the trunk? A, under the hood? Nope. If you said C, battery and fuel pump in the trunk, well, you're partially correct. The battery is in the trunk. That leaves B, fuel pump, is in the passenger compartment. It's directly underneath this wheel well. So 6,450 Sunbeam Tigers were imported to the U.S. This car is finished in a rare barmoral gray. It is the royal family's tartan color. Under the hood is a Ford 260 V8. This engine produces 164 horsepower. This particular car has an aftermarket Holley four barrel carburetor. This car does 0 to 60 in 7.8 seconds. Curb weight of this car is 2,653 pounds. So this car is 156 inches long and 60 inches wide. It gets about 20 miles to the gallon. It might be a little confusing for some people who made this car. As you see here, there's a Ford logo, Ford 260. That's the engine. It's a Sunbeam produced by the Roots Group. Let's hit the open road. First time driving one of these, totally different experience than driving a typical English car like an MGA or a, a Triumph TR4A. This has a totally different no heavy feel to the engine and drivetrain. So 
it's a pretty cool day here in Palm Springs this morning, as you can see from the snow on the mountains. Even, even given the cool weather, it's nice and warm here in the cockpit with the uh, heat coming through the firewall from the engine. The Voting Rights Act becomes law. The Gemini 5 spacecraft carries two American astronauts into orbit around the Earth. The Gateway Arch opens in St. Louis. The Super Bowl, skateboard, and miniskirt become trends. Dr. Shivago was playing in movie theaters. So it looks like a cute little British sports car. It's a real sleeper until you punch it. Thank you for joining us on the Cars of Palm Springs. Hello? The Chief says to be sure to subscribe and like if you enjoyed the show.